welcome to the KTA video learning series. This instructional series boils down the coatings inspection process, inspection instrument use, and relevant industry standards into brief segments that are easy to follow and understand. You can find the entire list of current and future videos at ktauniversity.com. Ambient conditions are the prevailing conditions of air temperature, the moisture content of the air expressed as relative humidity, and the temperature at which condensation will occur expressed as the dew point temperature. Measuring and recording the ambient conditions and surface temperature prior to final surface preparation and coating application is one of the most important steps in determining the success of a protective coating system. Applying a protective coating outside of the manufacturer's recommended temperature and humidity ranges may result in coating defects, premature coating failure, and may void the warranty of the coating materials. Coating specifications frequently have requirements for monitoring ambient conditions and surface temperature, and the specification or manufacturer's product data sheets often contain acceptable ranges for air and surface temperatures, and a minimum and or maximum relative humidity based on the type of coating. In addition, many specifications and coating manufacturers require the temperature of the surface to be a minimum of 5 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the dew point temperature to prevent moisture from condensing on the surface. While theoretically a surface temperature only slightly above the dew point temperature would preclude condensation, the 5 degree safety factor accounts for instrument inaccuracies and changing or varying conditions. There are three ambient conditions that are typically measured on an industrial painting project. The air temperature, the relative humidity, and the dew point temperature. Additionally, the surface temperature is measured and recorded, then compared to the dew point temperature to verify that moisture in the air will not condense on the surface. If coating work will be done outdoors, then the wind speed may be monitored. These values can be obtained using sling or battery-powered psychrometers in conjunction with U.S. Weather Bureau psychrometric tables or surface temperature thermometers or can be obtained using direct readout electronic psychrometers equipped with surface temperature probes. The wind speed can be monitored using portable wind meters or anemometers. You should not rely on prevailing conditions from a local weather service or from the internet as conditions at the project site and the specific work area can vary considerably. Ambient conditions should be measured and recorded prior to startup of operations and at four hour intervals thereafter unless conditions appear to be changing. In this case, more frequent checks may be required. If work will be done inside a facility, tank, or inside of a containment structure, then the prevailing ambient conditions inside of these areas should be assessed. That is, you are measuring the prevailing ambient conditions where the work is being performed, not necessarily the weather conditions. For example, when working inside a tank located out of doors, the conditions along the floor will be different than at the roof. The location, date, time of day, and conditions of air temperature, relative humidity, dew point temperature, and surface temperature should be recorded. ASTM E337 describes the use of whirling psychrometers, and SSPC has developed a monograph or guide titled Monitoring and Controlling Ambient Conditions. These industry documents may be useful when using instrumentation to measure ambient conditions and surface temperature, and when assessing the effects of ambient conditions on coating performance. That's all there is to it. Log on to ktauniversity.com for instructional videos on ambient conditions and other subjects.